Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. All right, today we're going to be showing you how to get air out of your heating system. So the first thing we're going to do is shut the boiler off, whether you shut the switch off on the unit or at the top of your stairs. First thing we want to do is shut the valves off so we can isolate this loop from the boiler. So we're going to shut this ball valve off here. Uh, this one's already shut because there's nothing hooked to it. It's for a basement loop if they ever do it. And this is for the upstairs, so we'll shut this. So it's really a two zone. The third zone is not hooked up. All right, so we're going to do it zone by zone. So what we need is a garden hose long enough to hook onto here and go outside. So we're going to go ahead and hook that up now. So grab a pair of channel locks, snug it on there just so it doesn't leak. All right, so now that we got these valves shut, our hose is snugged down and tight with pliers so it won't leak. We can go ahead and go over here where we got the other side of the zone with the zone valves. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it from the auto position and put it to manual. That way it'll open the valve and water will flow through it. And we're going to come back over here. We're going to open this. And once we open this valve, it's going to allow the fill valve to fill the boiler with water, push it through our first floor because this is the first floor zone. It's going to come out our hose and push all the air and water outside. We want to watch the end of the hose so we get a nice stream of just steady water, no air bubbles in it. There it comes there. Getting more pretty soon once it goes all the way through. So you're going to want to run it for a little while to make sure it can go all the way up through the heating loop and then come back out this hose. Water should come out cold as it's coming from the baseboard and it should get warm once it actually goes through the boiler and that's when you start to get the air again right here. Now the hose is just starting to get warm with our boiler temp water. So we know it's coming from the actual boiler all the way through the line. So we'll let it run for a couple more minutes just to ensure we get all the air out. So I just want to mention, be careful with the water coming out of the hose. It'll be hot until you get the hot water out of the boiler. Uh, once we get the air out of this zone, we'll go ahead and shut this valve off. Then we're going to go ahead and go back on the other side and shut that zone valve off. And then we're going to repeat the process with the other zone. Shut that zone valve over there. We're going to go from the open or manual back to the auto. So we shut that zone valve off. So now we're going to go ahead and move the hose. Always snug, snug it down with pliers just to make sure it doesn't leak. I'll go ahead and go back over there. We'll open the other zone valve. Same thing, we're going to slide it from auto to manual. All right, now that we have the second story zone valve open over there. We're going to open this side of the valve here with our hose on it to let it flow through the second story and push all the water and air out through the hose. Now, sometimes with a second story, depending on how high and how long the run, Especially with a third story, it may not really be enough pressure to push the air through. So what you're going to do is hold up on the speeder valve. That way it'll give it full pressure and really push that water through and air and get it all out of the system. Just make sure you flip that back down and then shut the valve. So we're going to let this second story run for a little bit and get the air out of the line. Alright, we got all the air out of the second story. So like I said, we're going to shut the feeder valve first and then shut our valve. And we can go ahead and... Shut the zone valve over there. All right, now that the zone valve closed on the second story over there, this valve closed over here. And go ahead and remove the hose. So when you detach your hose, you might want a bucket handy. Uh, its gravity is going to bring you some water, or you can kink the hose over like I did and walk out the bulkhead and set it outside. Now that we got our hose detached, we can go ahead and turn on our valves. That way the water will flow through our whole system, making a perfect loop. Once we have the valves open, we can go ahead and turn on our furnace. And that's it. We just showed you how to get the air out of your heating system or loops. That way you get rid of the noise of the gurgling or banging from air in your lines. 
Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYGuy.net. If you just finished building you the subscribe button, click that to get all latest DIY fixes delivered right to you. If you just finished building you the what's next button, you can click that and we'll help you figure out what you want to fix next. You can also click the link in the description which takes you to our website for a full write up.